I get distracted at mass, you get distracted at mass. It is a very normal thing and it has a very easy solution. So today let's talk a little bit about dealing with distraction at mass. I remember the first time a priest told me that he struggled with distraction at mass. I was honestly a little scandalized by that because I was thinking, you know, a priest does this incredibly profound thing that at mass, he holds that bread, he says the words of consecration, it becomes Jesus in his fingertips. How could anybody struggle with distraction in a moment so profound and so amazing as that? And then I was ordained a priest and after about a week, <laughs> I realized, yeah, distraction's a real thing. Uh, it's a real thing even for the priest. Uh, and for me, I mean, it's, it's very easy to get distracted. I'm sitting up in the sanctuary looking at hundreds of faces sitting in the pews. There's a lot of things that can take my attention away from what's happening in the liturgy. I can get distracted by a face that I don't recognize sitting in one of the front pews. Or, or maybe I notice that some people aren't sitting in their normal seat like they usually do. Uh, or sometimes my mind is just thinking about the homily that I'm about to, to give. I'm maybe rehearsing it a little bit in my head. And I don't need to be embarrassed about the fact that I get distracted at Mass sometimes. I think in those moments I'm simply invited by the Lord to just refocus, start over, try again. The best thing we can do to deal with distraction at Mass is simply to prepare for Mass. I really think that that's the main reason why so many people struggle with distraction at Mass. We're just not prepared. If we really think that we can scroll through our phone right up until the moment the Mass starts and actually be attentive at Mass, I think we're fooling ourselves. We're not made like that. We're not able to just change gears so quickly from being consumed in the world with our thoughts and our emotions going in every direction and then suddenly be fully attentive to what the Lord wants to do in the Lord's time and the Lord's space that we call the liturgy. That's just not possible. The Mass just moves at a different pace. It's not the same pace as normal life. There's a whole different atmosphere that we've got to get our mind and our soul ready for. So we need this time of preparation. Think of it a little bit like a submarine. If a person's working on a submarine underwater and they needed to get outside of the submarine to go swim out in the ocean for whatever reason, they can't just open up a hatch and get outside. The pressure is going to be too dangerous and it'll probably fill up the entire submarine in a really dangerous way, right? So they have to have this special chamber that they call the lockout trunk. And in the lockout trunk, they get all suited up to go out for their swim outside the, the submarine. And that room fills up with water. And as that water pressure increases, it acclimates their bodies so that once the water pressure inside the chamber matches the water pressure outside the submarine, then they can open a hatch and go for that swim out in the ocean. Their body needed that, that space, that time to actually acclimate to get outside. Same thing for us when it comes to an encounter with God in the Mass. We can't just go straight from ordinary life and jump into the liturgy and think that we're going to be ready to enter into the fullness of what God has to prepare for us. We have to actually acclimate our hearts a little bit into God's space and to God's time. So uh, entering into that time of preparation before Mass is kind of like entering into that lockout trunk, that, that chamber that pressurizes a little bit. It gets our mind and our soul ready to be in God's space and to encounter Him where He is. I would say there are three keys to preparing well for Mass. The first thing is simply to tell God what's on our mind, right? Because that's usually the stuff that's distracting us when we're at Mass anyway. We're distracted by the things that were already rolling around inside of our head before Mass began. And we just find ourselves dwelling on those things during the psalm or something like that. So we should talk with God about the stuff that's already in our head, the stuff that we're already worried about and thinking about. First of all, he's interested in it. He wants to be there. He wants to be a part of that conversation inside of our head. Um, but it also gives us some permission to not think about it for an hour. We give it to God. We place it in God's hands, at least for the time that we're in Mass. And then we don't have to worry about these things during Mass. We've just given it over to him. So that's the first thing. Think about the stuff that you have to think about. The second thing is to give yourself some silent time. Like, allow yourself to enter into a little bit of the silence and the stillness that we're going to need when we're at Mass. Without looking at the phone, without talking to anybody, just to kind of be in that space. Because, as you know from Scripture, God is present as a still, small voice in our lives. And we have to acclimate ourselves. We have to get in the habit of listening for that still, small voice. And so, this time of preparation for the Mass can be a time of practicing listening for the Lord's voice. And the third thing we need for a good time of preparation for Mass, and I think this is the most important thing, is ask God to reveal himself to you. 
Now, the Lord is always at Mass. The Lord is always showing up. He's always speaking through the readings. He's usually going to speak through the priest's homily. He might speak through uh, the time of silence. He might speak through the readings. The Lord is there. It's us who struggle with the attentiveness, right? If we go into the Mass expecting the Lord to reveal himself, then we're going to be attentive. We're going to be ready because we're going to be looking for Jesus to reveal himself to us. So those are the key ingredients to a good preparation for Mass. Tell the Lord what's on your mind, practice silence and stillness before Mass begins, and then ask the Lord to reveal himself to us. And if you still struggle with distraction at Mass, it's okay. Right? You don't have to beat yourself up. You don't have to be too discouraged by it. Just refocus, tell the Lord that you love him. He totally gets it. Now, I can't promise that you won't ever get distracted again at Mass. You probably will. But I do promise that if you prepare well for Mass, then you will be ready to encounter him when he shows up. God bless you.